Welcome to Student Edsby Boot Camp. This is Roger Bright. Now that you have your distance learning folder created, we're going to see how to download files into it using an iPhone or an iPad. Okay, first you need to open the Edsby app. Wait a second, Mr. Bright, I hear you say. You always said never use the Edsby app. You said the Edsby app was bad. I know, I know but Edsby through the browser on an iPhone or an iPad won't let you do what you need to do this time. So use the Edsby app. To find a file that's embedded in an assignment, first go to your classes by tapping the classes icon. Tap the class you want to view. Uh, we're going to go to civics. Here you see an assignment called test doc. Assignments will have the words homework or classwork along with an icon that looks like a graduate's mortar board and tassel. To access the assignment, tap the assignment's name, in this case test doc, or tap the submit button. In this case the assignment was already submitted, so it says resubmit. The assignment will open up and here you can see that there is an embedded Word document you need to download to complete the assignment. To download the Word document on your iPhone, Press the documents icon on your screen. This will open up an image of the document, but you cannot interact with it. To be able to use the document, you must download it to your phone or your iPad and then open it using the Word app. To download it, press the icon with the arrow coming out of the box in the upper right corner. A screen similar to the one to the left will appear. Scroll down until you find an option that lets you save the files, then press it. Before you save it, I want you to rename it so it will be ready to be uploaded later. To rename, simply press on the name as it currently appears at the top, in this case 229.12399 underscore test underscore doc. This will take you to a rename document screen. Backspace the old name and then type in the new one. In this case, when renaming the document, start with your last name and then your first name and then the name of the assignment. So here we have it as Bright Roger Test Doc. Once you've typed in the new name, press Done. After you've renamed the document, press the folder you want it saved to, in this case, 03 Civics, and then press Save in the upper right corner. That's it. Your file should now be saved to the civic section of your distance learning folder. I hope this helped. If you need more help, look for other videos on how to use your iPhone or iPad for distance learning. Good luck.